Good morning. I would welcome all to this time of honoring and remembrance of our departed shipmates. And as you know, this is always a sacred, worthy, and important part of our reunion. We remember their lives, we remember their service. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings, all the gifts in our lives for this time together, for life itself, for the major opportunity of being in life together for this association, for our time together, and for our shipmates who called home early. We thank you for them and what they were to us while they're in this life. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, it's time to clear your throat. We're going to sing Amazing Grace. We have Alan. This young lady right over here, Debbie Schwartz, are going to lead you. This is going to have to be alpha We do not have alpha <laughs> <laughs> We do not have the music, but I'm sure after we come up with a note, we can all sing it. Everyone knows that the words are printed here in your program. If you can, those who are able and comfortable with it, if you would, just please stand and join us in the singing. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was there to the worker for that in which he toils. 
how you've seen the task which God has given the sons of man with which to occupy themselves. He has made everything appropriate in its time. He has also set eternity in their heart, yet so that man will not find out the work which God has done from the beginning even to the end. Second Timothy, Timothy 4, 68 and 17 through 18. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. In the future there is laid upon for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, so that through me the proclamation might be fully accomplished, and that all the Gentiles may hear, and I was rescued out of the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from the evil, every evil deed, and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Please share this please, please, uh, prayer with me in unison. Almighty God, the book of faith upon the sorrow of your servants, for whom we pray, admit things they cannot understand, help them to trust in your care, bless them and keep them, make your face shine upon them, and give them peace. I'll be reading the known departed USS Inchon shipmates. You can follow along with me if you'd like. Thomas Harris. James Ainsley. Sidney Allen. David Camaro. Charles Pearl. Ashley Senior, Charles Ray Bagby, Scott Barnes, Michael Bowman, Angelo Beverly, Patrick Lakey, Robert Boyle. Herbert Brandt, Dale S. Brown, Brent Bouchon, Dewey L. Byford, Jerry Carmichael, Edward Carter, Rayford Carter, Annie Casalina, Michael Cash, Thomas Cavanaugh, William Chambers, Philip W. Clay, John James Cleaver. Eugene Cole, Scott Brutus Chorus, Tony Cortez, Andrew Covert, Albert E. Dempsey, Michael Dent. Alfred P. Rosa, <laughs> Kenneth Dokus, <laughs> Robert E. Dolan Jr., <laughs> Thomas Donnelly, <laughs> Donald Dove, 
Patrick Dunn. Thomas Ernst. David Ferrari. William Fisher. William Franzen. Mark Fredericks. Rick Gamash. Leighton Gibson. James Gilly. Brian K. Norman. Bernard Thomas Gothard. Richard Green. Roger Guinness. Eugene Paul. John E. Hammond, Jr. Edward Higgins. John Higginson. James Hauser. Thomas Hughes. Brent Jervy. William Johnson. Michael Kapinikin. Petty Officer Kevin Berger. <laughs> Stevan Lesper. Andy Knott. James Lambert. Lingio Lestolce. Jared Looker Jr. Michael R. Lovis. Jeff Loudon. Elton Lowry Jr. <coughs> David Lundgren. Nathan Mahomes. <coughs> Kevin Malat. Harry Mandelaris. James Benito. Thomas Manigan, Michael Masika, Richard Mason, Edwin McLean, Timothy McGrath, Robert Rex McMahon. Jeanette McRae, John McSwain, Albert Russell Rusty Medford, <coughs> Michael Melanchuk, Michael Manchin, Timothy W. Miller, Joseph Moore, Petty Officer Norton, Randy O'Plesson, Edward O'Neill, Gary Osborne, William Ott, Ronnie. Tom Jr. Lawrence E. Ardu Jr. <coughs> Fortunato Picardo. John Piper. Bertie Posadas. 
Philip Pratt. David Quigley. Jeffrey Reyes. Craig Reynolds. William Roberson. Nino Rodriguez. Mark J. Segniri. Anthony Joseph Sandifer. Julie Schelling. Gerald M. Schroeder. Greg Schultz. John Sheeter. Eugene Shirella Jr. David Shore. Albert Silva. Glenn Rob Robert Siena. Sam Smith. Mark Schoenfield. Jose A. Soto. Levin Spence. Timothy R. Stevens. Edwin Stroh. David Struble. Jerry Swolford. Michael Tanner. Alyssa Terry. John K. Thomas. John Tonis. Michael Lee Thornton. William Tiedemann. Stephen Toygo. John Tucker. Richard Tucker. James Valentine. Frederick Wilmer. Robert Benjamin Ward. Kenneth Wessel. Garland White. William R. Westerman. Danny Wilson. Cecil Jack Horn. Richard H. Warden. Richard W. Gilmans. <coughs> it's very evident to all of us that each reunion just gets longer and longer. And I, I know that's that's life, but that's still. Reason for concern, I guess. A month and a half ago, on March 15th to the 17th, the American Legion celebrated its 100th birthday. Uh, I take just a few moments to pay homage to the largest veterans organization, organization in the nation. And without a doubt, I'm sure there's several of us here present that are members of that organization. I know that I have in my wallet this year's membership card in my stating that I have 39 years of continuous membership. Our national commander, Brett P. Reisted, wrote in a recent article, Veterans of the First World War dreamed of a stronger, better, and prouder America, one that would stand strong for its military men and women, care for its veterans, and mentor its youth, would obey its laws and would promote responsible, United Citizenship under the colors of our country. A number of those veterans gathered in Paris, France from March 15th to the 17th in 1919. They gathered and formed the American Legion. 
They gather because they believe that history has proved them correct. That a nation worth defending during wartime is a nation worth strengthening, honoring, and serving for as long as a veteran lives. We are currently some two million members strong. We are wartime veterans working through 13,000 community level posts. We are dedicated to God and country, traditional American values, strong national security, adequate and compassionate care for our veterans, their widows, and orphans, community service, and the wholesome development of our nation's youth. I myself consider it an honor and privilege to be an active member of such a fellowship. I currently serve as chaplain for our local post, number 533, and I have for years, and I have witnessed some of the differences that we're able to make in our community and the surrounding area, and I've been deeply honored to conduct memorial service for so many veterans. And that is why I feel that fellowship is much more the right word than organization, or in our case, association. We're veterans. We all serve, not all at the same time, but on the same Navy warship of the United States of America. And because of the commitment and dedication and vision of such people as David Phipps and all our former and current board members and all of you that keep showing up every, every reunion, a host of so many others, those veterans whose forbearance, planning, and hard work brought this group into existence. And as you look around you, fruition. We are much more than an association. We are family. We are a fellowship in the truest sense of the word. The Apostle Paul wrote in his letter to the Philippians in the second chapter, verses 1 through 4, Therefore, if there is any consolation of love, if there is any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and compassion make my joy complete by being of the same mind, maintaining the same love, united in spirit, intent on one purpose. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. And further on in that chapter in verses 14 and 15, do all things without grumbling or disputing, so that you will prove yourselves to be blameless and innocent children of God, above reproach in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you appear as lights in the world. Lights in the world. We served and we are presented with ample opportunity to continue to serve whether we belong to organizations or fellowships such as the American Legion, other community service groups, or our local congregation we serve. We're called upon to do so. And we are compelled to come together in reunion because our service meant more to us than I realize at the time. It means as much or more to us in the present time. And more importantly, we continue to honor those shipmates who have left this life. Each and every time we come together to celebrate our accomplishments from those earlier times, we honor those who have been called home. Once again, I would mention Gold Star Mother Teresa Cleaver, who, as you know, was in our program. She was slated to be here, but couldn't be. So I would mention her and pay tribute for the ultimate sacrifice her son, Staff Sergeant John Cleaver, gave to his nation. For those of you who weren't here at the last reunion and aren't aware, John served in the U.S. Navy from 1996 to 2005, and he served on the Enchon during that time, one of our shipmates. He then joined the U.S. Army and served from 2005 to 2009. He was killed in action during Operation Enduring Freedom in Kabul, Afghanistan, on November the 19th, 2009. And so we thank Teresa and her family so very much, very, very much, for her sacrifice and that of her son. Just as we thank all of the widows and widowers that are part of this organization, such as Karen and Jerry Eisenhower, who many to name. I especially would thank all of you for your presence here and especially your service. May God continue to bless us all and certainly the United States of America.
I would ask you to pray with me in the prayer of thanksgiving, which I will lead, and then we will recite the, or the Pledge of Allegiance in the Lord's Prayer together. You see where my mind is. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for all which you have blessed us even to this day. We thank you for our days of health and strength and for days of, of trouble and sorrow. We thank you for our baptism and our place in your church. For all those who have so faithfully lived and died. Above all, we thank you for Jesus, one of our strengths and weaknesses, who died for our sins. And so he taught us we now pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now it's that time we've all been waiting for. And we ask to please stand again, and we will sing together a song that I think everyone knows. Maybe. My country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my father's son, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountain side, let freedom bring. God's glory with rejoicing to the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, and now and forever. And now may the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, according to the riches of God's glory, grant you to be strengthened with might through God's Spirit in your inner being, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth and to know that the love of Christ which surpasses all knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God may you go in peace. Amen. Amen.